Manchester United captain Bruno Fernandes provides injury update after Portugal's win over Scotland. Bruno Fernandes has played down the severity of a knock he suffered in Portugal's dramatic Nations League victory over Scotland, insisting it was just a little bump. Portugal rallied after going a goal down to win 2-1 in Lisbon, with Cristiano Ronaldo coming off the bench to direct Nuno Mendes inviting cross beyond Angus Gunn at the death. Fernandes, celebrating his 30th birthday, had earlier leveled the score from long range, cancelling out Scott McTominay's seventh-minute header to set up a tense finish at Benfica's Estadio de Luz. The result ensured Portugal's 100% record in the competition continued after Roberto Martinez's men defeated Croatia by the same scoreline on Thursday night. There was a slight concern for Portugal and Manchester United fans as Fernandes appeared to be struggling with an ankle problem before Ronaldo's last-ditch winner the forward's 901st career goal. However, Fernandez remained on the field until the final whistle allayed fears over a potential spell on the sidelines as he spoke with Portuguese media after the game. Asked for an update on his ankle after Portugal's win, Fernandez replied, It's okay. It's just a little bump. Fernandez's comments will no doubt come as a great relief to Eric Ten Hag, with Manchester United facing Southampton at St. Mary's in the Premier League next weekend. The attacking midfielder, who took over the captain's armband from Harry Maguire last summer, has started all three of the side's opening matches in the English top flight this season. Fernandes made his 600th career appearance in Portugal's defeat of Scotland and, remarkably, the United skipper has only missed four games through injury in that time. According to Fernandes, Portugal proved their doggedness and resilience by coming from behind to beat a very tough Scotland side. Scotland are a very tough team, with very high-quality players, almost all of their squad play in the Premier League and that shows in their quality right away, he added. They are tough, physically strong and, what's more, they are players who know how to handle the ball and they are very dangerous from set pieces. We knew that before the match, but we ended up conceding a goal at a bad time. But this game shows our resilience and the way we knew how to react to adversity, coming from behind and then winning the game. It wasn't a perfect day. I would have preferred it to be a less difficult game. It's always rewarding to score for the national team and to win on your birthday and to be able to celebrate with Portugal, even better. Fernandes backed Ronaldo to reach the 1,000 goal milestone before he decides to hang up his boots. The influence is always the same, regardless of whether he starts on the bench or not, the former sporting man went on. Everyone who came on made a difference. Cristiano got a goal. Today he scored his 901st and now he is on his way to 1,000 goals, which is what he wants. Ex-Manchester United star storms off after clash with Arsenal's Jurian Timber in training. Former Manchester United striker Wout Weghorst was involved in a heated clash with Arsenal defender Jurian Timber during a Netherlands training session on Sunday. Netherlands head coach Ronald Koeman was forced to intervene as Weghorst was left angered by a challenge from Timber during a game. The two players exchanged words, while Weghorst continued to complain to Koeman about Timber's tackle. Koeman, attempting to act as a peacemaker, replied, I said something to you, I said something to them. But with Weghorst still voicing his unhappiness over Timber's tackle, Koeman was then heard shouting, and now it's over. Weghorst was also seen laughing cynically as Timber's twin brother, Quinton, bumped him from behind. The striker, who joined Ajax from Burnley in the summer transfer window, briefly stood aside with his hands on a training mannequin before continuing with the session looking visibly annoyed. Once the session ended, Weghorst immediately left the pitch and took off his training shirt, while the rest of his teammates remained on the field. After leaving the training pitch, Coleman said of Weghorst, he has no injury. Netherlands are currently preparing for their second Nations League game against Germany on Tuesday evening. Koeman's side registered a 5-2 win over Bosnia and Herzegovina in their Nations League opener on Saturday night, with United striker Joshua Xerxes scoring his first international goal after 13 minutes. Twenty-seven-year-old scores to show Man United they made a mistake letting him go. Scott McTominay scored once again for Scotland in their UEFA Nations League clash with Portugal as the midfielder showed Man United why they should have kept him this summer. Scotland were looking to bounce back from their opening loss to Poland but suffered a cruel 2-1 defeat following a late goal from Cristiano Ronaldo. 
McTominay opened the scoring on the night with a tidy header, making it 10 goals in his last 17 appearances for the Scottish national team. The 27-year-old has always stepped up for his country and his work ethic could have been useful for his former club Man United. The midfielder left the Manchester outfit this summer to join Napoli as the Red Devils look to bring in Manuel Agarte from PSG while keeping the likes of Case Miro. McTominay had his best season at Old Trafford last time around and his latest goal shows that the Premier League club may have made a mistake allowing the Scotland star to leave. Man United's Bruno Fernandes nets from outside of the box versus Scotland. Portugal were victorious in their UEFA Nations League clash against Scotland on Sunday night as Man United captain Bruno Fernandes scored to help Roberto Martinez's team secure all three points. The Portuguese fell behind in the match through an early Scott McTominay goal but found a way back into the clash during the second 45 minutes courtesy of a Fernandes goal from outside of the box. The Man United captain struck a ball with his weaker foot which snuck into the Scotland net after a mistake from Angus Gunn. The midfielder didn't care how the ball went in and will be hoping to take his goal-scoring abilities back to Manchester as the Red Devils need a win over Southampton next weekend.